Hello and welcome to the second module in the course on encouraging children's participation. We hope you enjoyed the first module, which looked at the key principles behind participation. In this module, we'll be moving on to look at attitudes and values. Very often you may have been involved in meetings where children or parents have been present. But how many times have we really invited the voice of children or parents into the meeting? How often have we ignored the voice of the child or the parent? How often have we struggled to try and listen to what they were saying? Very often this is a reflection of our attitudes and values. It's all very well knowing the basic principles behind participation, but unless we're really committed and we really have the correct attitudes and values to trust children to give us their views, then we won't really hear their voice. So in this module, we will be asking you to reflect on your own attitudes and values. How do you really feel about asking children for their views? How do you really practice asking parents to be involved in practice? We believe that one of the ways that attitudes and values has a real impact is that it makes children feel valued, they feel safe. It's the boundary of the trusting relationship and we hope that by working your way through this module that you will be able to reflect on attitudes and values and truly bring them into your practice when encouraging children's participation.